Hi guys, welcome to Megan and the Moon. I am back with our binder grimoire and today I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to make a cover piece. Now, I want to say that you do obviously don't have to use this method. You can use anything you want for your cover. Um, I know I showed you in the, if you saw the Dollar Tree haul video, um, I found these like wood chipboard pieces that were hearts. You could decorate something like that. You could do collage, you could do any sort of assemblage um but I decided to do this um fabric collage um and all these fabrics here I dyed myself and I'm going to um if you would like a full tutorial on the dyeing I could surely do one for you but I will explain how I dyed these particular fabrics it's all eco dyeing and inexpensive materials and even things you might have around the house already to get um, these results and just in general with the grimoire I know I've said it before the more of the elements that you create and make and alter yourself you know the more magic you're putting into the book itself so um, I made this eye piece because I had the heart on here before I made this eye piece and I'm gonna make an eye for the one that we are doing together so um, that's what we're going to do today um, and so we'll go through it um, I have here some fabric so what I use for my fabrics is the canvas all my canvas I buy a huge drop cloth off of Amazon it's just a canvas drop cloth it's huge it will last you forever I just cut off pieces when I want to do some dyeing and, and dye like a few at a time so I have extra for things like this and then I also use vintage doilies that I get at like antique markets or I buy them on lots on eBay um, or you might just have some lying around or you might have a family member that has some that are like damaged or stained um, and I use all the parts of it so this yellow one is actually turmeric and this purple is blueberry if you could believe wild blueberry and um in terms of eco dyeing the eco dyeing that i'm doing is primarily for book covers and for um things like this where i have no intention of washing the item like over and over again so i know there's a lot of concern about things being light fast and things like that um I do have alum powder, uh, which is for pickling, which you can get in the grocery store. It's not very expensive, but you can also just add salt to your dye bath. Uh, turmeric is very powerful. So for a turmeric bath, you just boil some water, add a couple teaspoons of turmeric, and that's it. Let your fabric soak in there. It will absorb the color really fast. I know because my sister... Um, pour her turmeric latte on me by accident once and it stains everything in the vicinity like real fast it didn't matter how quickly I rinsed it like it dies fast wear gloves um, but you get this beautiful yellow color and then with the blueberry dye I use frozen wild blueberries and water uh, boiling water just boils it strain the blueberries and then let my um, item sit for a couple of hours in the blueberry dye and I added salt to that as the um, mordant um, so what binds the color to the fabric um, I live in an apartment I live in New York City um, I don't have access to a lot of plants and things like that I don't have an area where I can you know do eco dyeing outside so I tend to do very simple um, processes um, and it really works for me the pink of this heart if you're wondering about the pink is avocado avocado pits i save the, all of them in the freezer um i i rinse them i say freeze them when i have like four or five i do a dye bath i just put the pits in if you, you can add skin too that will make your dye more brown i put the pits in water i boil them until they crack open and then i add in some baking soda and you get this beautiful dusty pink color so not if you're if you're so inclined you can use any fabric sheets um you know old clothes you could just use fabric that is already the colors that you like um don't feel um obligated to do this eco dyeing process but i did want to share what i did because um i have so much 
left over you in one dye bath like I can't tell you how much um fabric I get out of it and I just save it and I use it and things like this so this is a basic fabric collage um I really don't have there's not like a big method to my madness here with with how I do this um I just kind of draw out a rough eye shape um so I want a fairly big eye because um, this is going to be the only um, thing on this cover so I just kind of am tracing out the rough shape there and then I will just cut the pieces out I'm again like I keep saying I'm not precious about this because every single bit of this fabric is going to get used um, because I'll use it for clusters, I'll use it in collages on tags, I'll use it on my art journal pages. Um, I save every little scrap of this. I think also because I like dyed it myself, I, it becomes even more like, I want to make sure I'm using all of it. So that is it. I really like doing fabric collage this way. There's other ways to do it as well. You could, if you have like batting and things like that, you could attach it to that and you could sew it. Um, I do have obviously some hand stitching here and some machine stitching up here. You don't need to sew anything. I don't really like hand stitching. I don't like slow stitching. I don't have patience for it, but I have been trying to like learn and like try new things. So I did do some around there. Um, again, you don't need to. Okay, then I just take some of this. This is just a cotton doily, and I'm just going to do a rough, like, uh, eyeball shape. So I'll just put that there so I know how big I need it. And that's that. And then just out the one thing you have to know about eco dye fabric so if you do decide to go this route is that sometimes especially with the purples and the blues when you start to add different adhesives to them they might change color like this if you were to attach this with matte medium it might turn blue so I would just use like a regular, I'm going to use uh, art glitter glue to, to do it so that it doesn't change color. Um, okay, and that's basically it. I'm going to take some of these extra little scraps and these will be um, the lashes. So I'll just cut some little strips very involved, very scientific. I, I like my eye shapes to be very like, to look like this, you know, be very kind of like, I don't know what the word is. It's not organic. It's like, rough I guess I don't need it to, I don't need it to look perfect um, okay so this is a basic eye shape that I'm using and then here are my lashes and so what I would do or what I do do need to cut a couple more lashes um, is I kind of tack that all together with the glue and then I let it dry And then I glue it right to the book. I wanted to show you this method because I think it's interesting and it's fun to do collage with the fabric, especially if you have a nice big fabric stash or you're wanting to, you know, try something new. So that's how it's going to look. So I'm just going to, you can even, here's the book. is all book
what I might do also is after this is like glued down um, add some gold to the yellow part gold paint love it you could just glue it this way if you wanted um, I'm maybe I will do that actually so normally I would like glue these little pieces underneath this part I probably will do that actually just to have it more secure tack it down and then put that there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be well I'll do one on here and a little bit of a weird angle so I just literally take the tiniest, the art glitter glue, this is for like gluing glitter, but it comes with a little pin needle top. You can get bottles that have a pin top for glue. So I just take a thinnest line and just tack it with that and it works really well. Um, so while I'm doing this, I will say, um, the next uh, part of this project is going to be kind of prepping and choosing all of the papers, going over the kinds of stuff that I'm going to have in here, and then I have already some specific projects for us to do to, to kind of fill our grimoire. So if you're having trouble kind of thinking about like what you want to actually put in here or, you know, how you want to separate things. Um, we will work on that and then I am going to do a flip through of this one because this one right here that I'm working on the purple one that I made on camera is going to go up into my Etsy shop so if you just are wanting to go ahead and grab this one to work in and kind of continue to make your own you can do that. I'm going to make it a little bit similar to this one. I'm going to use scrapbooking paper um, and then I'll include like some of the altered dividers and things into the packet of stuff I'm going to put in here. Um, so that's that. Then the other thing is that um, so I'm going to be working on a bunch of projects and things I'm going to do tutorials on how to add into this book. Um, and I opened up a Kofi. If you don't know, I have a tarot reading channel and it's Meg the Moon Tarot. And over there, I've opened up a Kofi membership uh, where I'm doing like readings and magical mail and things like that. And I'm going to open up a tier on there. There's a tier open for Art Witch. Um, Art Witch. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, our witch goodies or something like that. Anyway, it's going to be a monthly package of things to add to your grimoire, um, like little ki art kits uh, to do projects related to um, the grimoire and like things that you can do so that you don't have to go out and always source your own supplies. I'm really excited about this. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can check the link in my bio. It includes shipping and some other um, uh, goodies in there, like as far as like being in a Discord and, and some uh, access to some full and new moon readings and things like that. So check that out over there. This is how it's going to look. This needs some help. The reason why I add such a small amount of glue and tack it is so that I can kind of move it around. I am loving this. I am going to clean up some of these edges and then I am going to go ahead and just tack this down onto the book and then um, yeah that's going to be that. It's that simple. How long did that take? This is a 15 minute video with no editing so uh it's literally five minutes it's really just like if you have the fa some fabric on hand that you want to use um use it um and then yeah that's this part guys i'm really excited if there's other things you want me to talk about in here as far as getting the book ready otherwise um 
you know, stay tuned. I'm going to put up another video at the end of the week. We're going to go over some really cool things to add to the grimoire and getting your papers and all of your stuff ready. And I thank you so much, guys, and I will talk to you soon.